Here's a fun activity. Go to your local grocery store, grab as much frozen shrimp as you can, and try to leave the store without paying. Actually, don't do that. You'll be tackled, handcuffed, and best case scenario, have your picture all over the local news. But if you walk out of a grocery store with a shopping cart, nobody will bat an eye. You can push that thing right down Main Street, waving to every police officer you pass. There's even a little sign on the shopping cart indicating where you stole it from. Regardless, everything's going to be fine. Use it for as long as you want, and when you're done with it, just push it in a river. This happens all the time. One Barry No Frills estimated that they lose half of their 200 carts every year. And these carts aren't cheap. They range from $200 to $400. That's a lot more than an armload of frozen shrimp. Nevertheless, it is exceedingly rare that anybody gets prosecuted for shopping cart theft. The paperwork and resources needed to cite a shopping cart thief and impound their cart can take up an entire shift. And a lot of the people stealing shopping carts are, of course, poor or homeless. A ticket isn't going to do much. Meanwhile, grocery stores are afraid to make this an issue because they're worried about being branded as a bunch of people bashing the poor. Just look at the outcry that happens whenever a jurisdiction tries to explicitly ban shopping cart theft. I approached a few retailers for comment about shopping cart theft, and oh wow, they didn't want to touch this with a 10-foot pole. So screw them, you say. Those corporate fat cats deserve to have their carts ripped off. Well. Who's had a bike stolen lately? The difficulty of prosecuting a bike thief means that many of them operate with virtual impunity. If you own a bike, the onus is on you to stop it from being stolen. And if it is stolen, get ready to spend a lot of time on Craigslist tracking it down yourself. It's basically the same principles as with shopping cart thefts, but it doesn't feel as good when it's your stuff getting ripped off, does it?